Titanoliator is directed by the same person who directed Mortal Kombat. Because as we all know, that is a movie that it's not like no one thinks of it as a joke, right? We all love that movie. It's not like it's totally ridiculous and stupid, right? Cue title scene. So, as you can tell, yeah, this movie didn't really have a good pedigree to it. I don't know the director of Mortal Kombat, and I've only seen that movie once, but it's not really the kind of thing you want to broadcast much. And this movie is not something that should be broadcasted at all. Now, as you all just heard, I compared this so cleverly with both Titanic and Gladiator. Why? Because this is exactly like those two movies. A historical fiction that takes real-life events, or in this case, one real-life event, and just puts its own romantic spin on things. Except, what makes those two movies good is that even though, yeah, they're pretty cliche, they are still done with great effects, great CGI, brought to life with a great story that is easy to follow and makes total sense, and combines any good film elements. This movie has none of these things. Yup, I'm not gonna lie, even from when the first trailer came out, this film looked stupid. Now, it's not that I have a problem with romantic, okay, I do, but for me, I just by nature have a problem of taking real-life tragic stories like what they did with Titanic and then just creating these fake stories because they don't think we as an audience could follow it. But even though I don't really care for Titanic, the ship sinking is pretty badass, this film, <sighs> look, it's tough sledding the first half of these kinds of movies, like with Titanic, um, you know, getting from, you know, from what they're making up to happen to what actually happened, but that's usually really cool. This isn't very cool. The CGI in this movie is really bad, and it really is apparent with the erupting of the volcano, which, again, doesn't happen for a while, so you're just sitting there thinking, come on, get to the volcano, get to the volcano, I don't care about these characters, I don't care about these actors. Then when the volcano actually goes off, it just looks so fake and so cheesy. And you don't, like I said, you don't care about the characters because the film's written pretty cliche. Basically, you got this guy played by a guy from Game of Thrones. I watched Game of Thrones, but not enough to confidently say who's who, minus, like, Peter Dinklage. But the thing is, is, is that this guy did not make an impression on me. He didn't really bring anything to this role, and there's just nothing for him to bring. He just plays this totally cheap cliche. It's the revenge storyline. Keith Sutherland, a.k.a. that drunk guy who worked for Fox plays like the emperor or something it's really not that interesting i saw this movie two hours ago and i've already forgotten but basically he slaughters the main character's family and it's up to him to get revenge while saving the love of his life blah 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 cheap cliche don't see this movie it's not it just doesn't have anything appealing about it there is nothing that interesting about it it's trying but that's the same thing with Mortal Kombat. It doesn't have the budget it needs for the story it wants to tell, and it doesn't have the talent involved to get anything out of it. Like, it's just a movie where the director, whose name I'm still not going to bother to remember, wanted it to be more than what it is, and I can respect that, but you still need to operate within the parameters of what you've been given and what you can use. And the thing is, is that when you try too hard, and when you clearly are just not using your budget in a practical way, it shows even worse than if you had just gone with a cheesy route. I mean, look, this film's pretty cheesy as is, but if you had just, like, kept everything simple and kept everything fine, this film would have been all right and bearable and likable even. But it just as is, it just comes off as bad and silly and ridiculous and 3 out of 10 on the disaster movie scale. I'm not a big fan of disaster movies to begin with. I'm not a big fan of romance movies. I'm not a big fan of historical fiction when done like this. But, you know, this movie just has nothing going for it for me. And from the looks of things, not for many other people. But does it have something for you? In the comment section below, give me your thoughts on Pompeii. And you know what? Here's something interesting. Tell me what historical event you'd love to get a movie version of with fictionalized versions. I'm rooting for Titanic 2, Rose meets her lover on the Hindenburg. 
I don't care if that sounds sick or weird. I'm going for it. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because unlike Pompeii, I like to believe I'm not a disaster.